Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Terra Genesis episode 3 with our series here. I'm going to start right off. Actually, we had collected some of the credits there. We had got about 3.3 million credits now. And this popped up as soon as I loaded up the game. So Wonder of Mars, it says a seemingly normal engineer working at our level 1 heating cluster in Hope has turned out to be something of a prodigy. Under her, her guidance, the facility could be upgraded to a stunning level 10 and run without any maintenance at all, becoming a true Wonder of Mars. So we're going to accept that. Which is awesome, so that should actually show that our heat is going up a lot. Let me see how much that gives us. Plus 22 heat, so that's crazy. So if we actually go back and check. We're trying to work on increasing pressure though, but you can see that heat's already on the rise up. 224,000 millikelvins out of 287. Alright, so let's go ahead and... Uh, with three million, that's pretty good. I'm gonna go in the research here. We're gonna Nope, we're gonna go ahead and research Um, oh, I was thinking silver, but I guess not so let's go for Something to do with pressure something to help us with pressure. I apologize that keeps coming up. Um We're gonna need oxygen, but we don't need that now we're focusing on Pressure. We got thermal dust. We could get Atmogen Sweet. Uh, we could do the borehole too. That would give us 60 heat and plus 10 pressure. Uh, we definitely need the heat. Is there anything in oxygen that gives us pressure? No, there's only things that take away pressure. Let's see though. Sign of Vats would give us 60 oxygen and take away 10 pressure. This gives us 10 and 60 heat. But I don't know if we're going to need the borehole just yet. It depends. You know what? Actually, yeah. We're going to research the, the borehole. So that'll take 2 hours and 35 minutes. Yeah, because I'm thinking we'll get our heat up and then we can off offset. It'll take a while to get the heat up completely to where I want it. The pressure is what we really need to work on. I might actually still build the thermo dust in some areas right now anyways. Let's go back to Hope real quick. Do I have any room here? Yes, we can build some facilities. So let's go ahead and build Thermal Dust. Start getting pressure going up. All right. How much money does that leave us? 1.1 million. So I'd like to go into... Let's see, not the biosphere actually. Let's take a look at colonies again. Let's go to our outpost here. We really got to increase the amount of resources we've got coming in here. The amount of money. If I could switch this over to iron. See, there we go. There's a good amount of it right there. For 500,000, it's worth it. Yep, 785. So that's giving us 3,000. And we'll see. We've got a little bit of money. See if we can't spend it. There's some pretty good spots. That's actually really good right there. 600,000. That's going to spend the last of our money there. But that's 863 credits total. So it only leaves us 47,000 credits. But that gets us all sorts of stuff coming in. Which is good. So now if we go over to heat, plus 22 a minute. So that finally caught up with the heating cluster. So the borehole really might not come in that much handy because the plus 22 is already going to get us very close to there. But we'll at least try to get the heat balanced off anyways. As for pressure, the thermal dust will start building this up slowly. We only need 100,000. Oxygen, we need 210,000 parts per million, which I think... 60 coming in is really going to balance that out. We might have to get something that reduces pressure. Not 60 heat. We'll have to look and see what we can get. Um, and how are we doing on credits? Hab unit 2 is costing us a thousand. But aside from that, we actually got a lot coming in. 
Let's go back into research. So yeah, we're working on the boreholes. Right here, so plus 60 heat, plus 10 pressure. So that we'll, we'll end up putting these up. Once the heat kind of, it'll get our pressure a lot closer, we'll put one up. And then once the heat kind of tapers off, we'll shut it down and probably get rid of it. And then we'll just have to finish the pressure, which we can, pressure I see, it seems to go pretty quickly. In both games I've played by myself on my mobile device, uh, pressure was very quick to fill out. Oxygen takes a little bit more time. And that's where I'll probably use the Sinovats. Next, that gives us plus 60 oxygen, but minus 10 pressure. And we can offset that pressure with, uh, let's see, with the thermal dust. Oh my goodness. I don't like that that does that like that. And there's no other way to scroll as far as I can tell. See the middle mouse button acts as a cursor. You can see it there. It clicks in the center. Oh, I can actually scroll like this. Well, I wish I knew that before. Okay, so the let's see the thermal dust. No, it would have to be the sequestration sequestration plant. So what I can do is I can build the. No, no, I do the thermal dust. So I build the Sinovats, plus 60 oxygen, minus 10 pressure, and I'll offset the minus 10 pressure with thermal dust. If you upgrade this to thermal dust two, uh, it's plus six pressure. So one of them uh, at level one, and then one of them at level two will give us 10, and it'll offset that. And then we can have the Sinovat run until the 60 oxygen, with the 60 oxygen coming in, we'll have it run until it actually fills up our oxygen because that's what it's all about it's about trying to fill these up you're trying to get them in the green zone here and once you get them there you're good to go now actual population we need to get that higher i don't get my my next culture point until 250 let me so what's it going to cost to upgrade this again 250 so we actually don't have enough what about to build another hab unit 250 again and we still don't have enough i could use this and i think i will and we'll upgrade our hab unit or we'll build oh do i want to upgrade or build another i think i want to build another we'll build another hab unit we're going to want another one so we can get the population up a little bit higher because we get another facility at pop 250 anyways. So if we build a hab unit, that'll give us plus 100 more uh, habitat uh, hab units, which will give us another 100 pop over time. So that'll hit our 250 and we'll get another facility, which will fill out with the borehole or something. We're going to get another colony up here shortly as well. We'll probably do that tomorrow once we've got the credits to do it. And once we hit 250 population, we'll get another culture point, which we're going to dump into victory. And then, yeah, we'll have, I think we're only building the hab though, right? No, we're doing thermal dust too. So we'll start working on pressure in 23 minutes. Okay. Awesome. So with that being said, though, that's the end of this episode. Hopefully we'll see uh, a little bit of progress. This, I think heat is going to be big next episode. So we'll check out that and see how it's doing. And then we'll start working on pressure. And we should see a little bit of progress with that as well. But I want to thank you all for joining me. I do hope that you've enjoyed it. Oh. Mixing local tradition. Okay. So it's just uh, changing our culture. So anyways, like I was saying, I hope you enjoyed it. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.